On November 18th, a woman was walking home when a man grabbed her and pulled her behind the bushes at the W and OD trail in Herndon and raped her, according to court documents. Police say Dennis Umberto Navarrete Romero raped the woman and he's in the U.S. illegally. We haven't had a stranger rape in over 12 years that I've been here as chief. Mackie DeBoard is the Herndon police chief. There should be full prosecution, so this never happens again. According to court documents, Navarrete Romero is unemployed and receives public assistance. And according to court documents and documents obtained by WJLA through a public records request, he's accused of several crimes in the past, including sex crimes in D.C., resisting arrest in D.C., and in Virginia. He's accused of assaults, bad Battery, trespassing, using a stolen vehicle, weapon violations, drinking and smoking marijuana in public, loitering, and indecent exposure. But now we've determined that there was an allegation made in 2017 involving him uh, with sexual type battery against uh, several juveniles. Juveniles. Juveniles, yes. Okay. That's not all. He assaulted uh, two of my police officers. One, he actually grabbed around the throat and tried to choke him. So he was charged with two assault on a police officer felonies. And was he convicted of two felonies? Uh, no, because a couple months later that case was uh, reduced to simple assault misdemeanors. Tonight, the police chief is hoping he will be held accountable and serve time for the rape police say he committed. The problem with deporting him right now would be uh, there is a strong chance that he could end up back in this country again. And the danger is if he's not held uh, accountable for his crimes here and he's simply deported, we would have no way um, to keep him from coming back into the country. Reporting in Herndon, Virginia, Nick Minock.